How's it going, everyone? Petty Kish Hun here, coming with you with another video. Today, we got more info about Tomb Raider. There was a live action series that was going to be coming up on Amazon, and it seems like it's going to get canceled. We don't know yet, but it's more and more likely that it's going to get canceled. So I know a lot of Tomb Raider fans are kind of actually happy to see this, as well as there's a Netflix show that's coming out. It's an animated Tomb Raider show continuing the reboot series of Lara Croft. That is getting downvoted and ratioed hard by the fan base. We're going to be uh, talking about that as well because there's a lot of Tomb Raider entertainment. The IP is very comp in a very weird state right now. It doesn't know what it's trying to be. Like, is it actually t raiding tombs or is it like truth seeking? Because it's 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 splitting up the fan base you got the reboot series and then you have the classic series and it's very uh polarizing which series is you know better obviously the original is better but the reboot has its own uh fan base for it as well but the thing is the reboot is not what Tomb Raider was supposed to be it was supposed to be an origin story of what Lara Croft would become in those classics which never came to fruition that never came out to be a thing so it was its own thing i for me personally i think that reboot tomb raider series is more of like i would say like its own spin-off own kind of story and then you got the classic tomb raider which is what is like almost like the canon of where it all started it's all over the place uh, the remasters came out this year, which were excellent. They're really good. There were passionate fans that made that game. So it was very, very well done. And just a lot of things about Tomb Raider has been coming up recently. And I think this franchise is getting butchered hard. It's not succeeding as what they think it's succeeding to be. Because the fans are calling out all the BS that's happening to this franchise. They're saying, what is going on? Why are you changing things that destroy canon of this character? Destroying what it is. What Tomb Raider was supposed to be. He, she's not a truth seeker. She's a Tomb Raider. She was always an anti-hero. So, but before we get into this article here and read a little bit about it, I would love it if you guys could like, share, sub, follow if you could on this channel. If you in, are interested in more topics like this, I do a lot more of these on here. So thank you so much. It looks like Hollywood insiders reportedly believe Amazon and Phoebe Waller-Bridge's live action Tomb Raider will not come to fruition. <laughs> what a shock. Wow. Yeah, this is not a shocker whatsoever. Uh, there was rumors. Phoebe Waller-Bridge was talking about how much she loves the IP. She would love to write for it and, you know, direct it and all sorts of things. They're looking for other cast members to play Lara Croft. And it, it was just going to be a complete mess because Phoebe Waller-Bridge is a full-blown feminist. Anything she touches in general is crap. We saw that with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Diarrhea. Trust me. We saw that. We saw how bad Indiana Jones was. A lot of the projects she wrote and did, she might have had one success that out of like a bunch of others, she had one success. But the problem is she just keeps on failing and failing. And that's why people were like, I'm going to get away from this. I'm not trusting what she touches. There's no way this is going to be good. Indiana Jones was the biggest failure. The new one that came out from Disney. It's criminal how of a failure of that movie was. It's so criminal. It's so insane. Indiana Jones, a classic cult character, was destroyed right in front of you if you watch that movie. Straight up. That character was destroyed. It's just disgusting what they did like it even now i think about it, it angers me like what happened what happened to that movie 
But it seems like after the failure of that movie that she was in, they're not really thinking about moving forward with the project no more. So they're going to be maybe pushing back, putting it in the box, and then maybe coming out with later down the line, maybe coming, in up, uh, coming back to it, maybe in some sort of way. We don't know. They always talk about they want to, you know, put diversity, equity, inclusion, and all that in the game. And they have a female character, but they, like, destroy the female character. Which, this female character was already strong, venturous she was, and she was not a hero whatsoever. People always forget that. She was not a hero. She was an anti-hero. She did everything for sport. She did everything to go on an adventure. That was the whole thing. And I said about this, good. Don't touch Tomb Raider. We don't want another sort of Indiana Jones failed project from last time. I'm also looking at you, Netflix. Get real fans that understand the source material from the start. Not these fake fans. Then move forward with a live action. Because there is a lot of fake fans out there. People that they love the character, but they don't understand the character if you get my drift. So they have to rewrite this character now for modern standards, modern audiences, obviously, because the things that she does in the classic games are not good no more. It's a no-go. It's them. You can't do that in 2024. That's the problem. They're changing this character completely that it's unrecognizable. People say, oh, you hate on the reboot Tomb Raider games. I don't. I don't hate them. The gameplay is completely fine. I have no problem with the, um, with the the reboot series gameplay. My problem is it's not Tomb Raider. When it first came out, the first reboot, I did enjoy it a lot because I was excited to see a prequel story of what Lara Croft, you know, what she would become. But the more and more the game started coming out, and I more realized it that they're just pushing moving forward with a different kind of story. They're not gonna make the classic Lara Croft we know and make her that character no more. It's like a completely different character. It never came to fruition of what she would become, the Tomb Raider. I saw this one by Lara Toomber, and it's, it's official. Lara Croft is now became a lesbian. Netflix can't help it, can they? It looks like it's gonna happen. It looks like Life is Strange 2.0. But it, it, from this image, it gives me Life is Strange vibes. It gives me vibes uh, going back to Legend of Korra, which mm, Legend of Korra had some its moments. I, I enjoyed Legend of Korra, but I have some issues with Legend of Korra as well, you know, altogether. This is not Lara Croft. That's Lars Croft. <laughs> Lars Croft. Stop destroying Tomb Raider and make your own gay fantasy truth seeker IP instead. What are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. It's true. Why are these people, the I mean, these activists, because they don't care about destroying the IP. They don't care about changing it so much that it's unrecognizable. They're just pure activists. Tell, why Why would you say it's not? Because they're destroying this character. Make your own thing. I give credit to like a lot of these other games that are coming out. I know they're failing right now really hard, like Concord and Dustborn, but they're not take they're making their own franchise, their own IP, and putting their own ideologies inside of that game. And making their own thing that's it's the same thing stop using existing ips and changing it for modern audiences when it does those people don't exist here's one article right here by the park place the other one was also park place uh, i almost forgot to mention it tomb raider fans porch netflix latest teaser trailer for tomb raider the legend of lara croft lara 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 croft i was gonna say lars croft but you know why is she so bulky don't know people always say oh 
she's more bulky because she's climbing up things. She's more, you know, strong. You could say that, but you have seen rock climber women and they don't look that strong. They're mostly toned and skinny usually. And they have, you know, they have a great body though, but they're not buff. You can make a strong character, female character, and not make her actually a male character strong. Uh, the trailer has over 214,000 views on the official Netflix YouTube channel, but has only 7,500 likes to 8,600 dislikes. There you go. It was ratioed out that the dislike is still going up. Furthermore, numerous comments are roasting the trailer and the show. One person wrote, I see Lara is still falling rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she does in the reboot she cries a lot she falls and she cries and she said one time she said oh i hate tombs remember that remember that there you go another started oh boy they left the comment section open again ha 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 mm -hmm. someone needs to teach netflix what the definition of teaser trailer is yup one person questioned why Lara Croft's iconic pistols were not present in the trailer. Where are the guns? Exactly, because this is not the iconic Lara Croft. It's not. It's a completely different character. Another expressed a similar statement. All I want from this is Lara wielding her signature dual pistols. No, you're not going to get that in this show. Nope. Nope. You're not going to get that. If you do, it's going to be at the very end as a hint, hint. She's becoming Lara Croft, guys. We're going to jangle the keys. Do you remember Tomb Raider? Do you remember? We've had that before. And guess what? Nothing happened out of that. Nothing. If you've never played the games, you won't know how iconic and mindful she is. Similarly, another wrote, remember when she was a cool, confident, and cocky seasoned explorer before they added drama grief and daddy issues and made her particularly insufferable that's what happened what is it with crystal embracer and their need for lara to be tortured is this an american thing do your heroes always have to suffer kind of weird actually now i think about it she's always getting beat tortured yeah, I don't know. YouTube removed dislike for shit like this. Yup, yup. The show will make Lara Croft a lesbian. Lesbian Lara, Netflix strikes again. This is not Lara Croft. It's similar, another added. What the fuck is this? This isn't Tomb Raider. I'm sorry, but the animation looks low budget. What is happening here? Posted another. And it goes on and on. People are furious. This is not Tomb Raider. It's unrecognizable. They don't even know who it is. I saw one person, I forgot where, but they commented about this. And I heard, I saw it and it said, for some reason, I don't know why, like I said with Legend of Korra, she looks like Korra. Some people said that they got the inspiration of the animation from Legend of Korra, the, her whole model almost. But even Korra had some features that still felt feminine in some ways. Yeah, she was buff, but she still felt feminine in some ways. At least Korra was like a new IP, you know? It was a new character. This is an existing character that has many uh, versions of her that existed already in the past. And they're changing it constantly, constantly. And they're making her really buff. I don't understand why. Like... I don't understand this whole concept. You guys know Melanie Mack. She's really into Tomb Raider. She's like a huge fan. She played like all of them pretty much. Uh, looks like uh, the girlfriend from the leaks, but maybe not. Either way, looks terrible. Cringe. And they're both drawn with weird androgynous bodies. Lol. This frame especially. What the heck is that? <sighs> Brother, uh, what's that? 
What's that, brother? That's She-Hulk. Oh my gosh. Why did they make her so buff? People are drawing like AI like, what? This is so much better. This would be better. <laughs> yeah, this is like what we have, should have gotten. I hope Crystal Dynamics fails. I hope they fail because they need to learn a lesson or they need to stop pandering to this, this activist crowd of people that actually think they enjoy this because they don't. The fans don't enjoy this. What do you guys think overall about this whole thing? Let me know in the comment below. If you like this video and you watched it this long, I thank you so much. And if you didn't like this video, I still thank you so much for watching this, this long. Uh, until the next time, guys, have a good one all. See ya.